Hey guys, this is Henry from Obedi again. Today we're going to keep working on audio editing in Studio One. On the previous tutorial, I showed you a sort of a method in which you can uh, fix uh, timing issues on a uh, performance that you recorded with sort of an automatic uh, procedure using the quantize menu in Studio One. Today we're going to go deeper into that uh, by adding the the concept of bend marker. Okay, so here we go. Um, I have a mono audio track. It's called Claps, in which I recorded some claps. Uh, I'm going to press play. And you're going to listen to how this third, fourth, and fifth clap. They're pretty off. Okay, they're they're kind of far from that quarter note that they were supposed to be played at. Let's give it a listen. Okay, so it's pretty obvious, right? It's pretty bad. <laughs> so how do we fix that? Well, here we go. We're going to select the audio event, and we're going to go to our audio band menu. So the first thing we're going to work here on the detection area. You have two modes here, two detection modes, either standard or sensitive. I, advise, I recommend you to start with standard, and if by some reason that doesn't work properly, you can switch to sensitive. So standard mode, then you press analyze, and the software is going to analyze um, your audio event. And depending on this threshold level, it's going to decide how many um, bend markers to, it's, it's going to create based upon your transients. By default, this is set to 80. So when you analyze, yeah, they're all there. Okay. You can also show or hide your bend markers, clicking on this little eye icon. Uh, but by now you want to have them on because we're working with them. Then you have your your time stretch mode. You have three modes: drums, sound, and solo. These modes or algorithm or algorithms basically um, tell the software how to react to the program material. When you're in drums mode. Um, the, the software, it, it, it is expecting to see transients because that's how that's typically how drums and percussive material looks like um, on the waveform. If you click on solo, it is going to try to find monophonic formats such as bass guitars or like mono synthesizers and things like that. And then you have another one called sound. That one is typically used for polyphonic material. But by now, we're going to stay on drums because we're working with a rhythmic uh, program material. Now, you have to select what actions you want to apply. You could either quantize or slice. If you quantize, it's going to quantize um, the transients that have bend markers. And the way it's going to quantize, it's going to quantize accordingly or, or it's, going to, it's going to quantize following the parameters that you have set on the quantize menu. Okay? Now, if you slice, if you select slice, it's going to slice this audio uh, event following those audio band markers. Um, alternatively, if you slice, you can auto fade, you could auto fill, or you can even quantize after it's being sliced. But by now, we're going to stay on quantize. That's what we want to do. We want to edit the audio so that we fix timing issues. If we quantize, uh, it is not going to be slicing, okay? You're not going to be creating new audio events. It's the same audio event, but it's going to time stretch. Uh, it'll either compress or stretch the the audio event so that the transients end up falling on top of those uh, grid marks. Now, where are those grid marks? Well, um, you're going to select uh, the way those grid marks work with your quantized menu. So in this case, we want to make sure that we have grid selected. So I said quarter note, and then you want to make sure that you are on straight field because I was trying to record those claps to a straight field. So straight. And then this start percentage is the same you're going to have here, this strength. They're linked. They're the same. So you can see it's 68. If you go here to quantize, 68. If you pull it down to 40, it's 40. So we'll leave it at 100. So... If you leave it at 100, they're going to be 100% aligned to that grid mark. So if I press apply, boom. You can see how they are now 
perfectly, perfectly align uh, to those quarter note grid marks. And if you press play, if we press play, you're going to listen to that. And it's going to be really obvious. It's going to be perfect now. Awesome, right? Now, let's say that uh, you didn't like the way this worked. You can always go here and press restore. It go, goes back to where it was. Actually, you can also hide this. And it just looks just like the way it was when we started the tutorial. Now, let's say that by some reason you analyze and there's a transient that was not captured. Like here. This last one was not captured. And you want to you want to add it. You want to add it manually. You can do that too. You can add uh, bend markers manually using the bend tool. Here it is. So you click on that bend tool. Make sure that uh, snap is off. Zoom in. Click. Select your uh, audio bend again. And you can see how you have added that. Now, you can also drag that bend marker so that that transient gets dragged into that um, into that grid mark, uh, clicking back on that bend tool, make sure your snap is on, and then you go on top of the bend marker, you're going to see how the icon changes. Click, drag, boom. Now it's there. You can press play. Good. It's perfect. See? Beautiful. You can do that with the others if you want. Okay, now if you want to delete the bend marker, you basically just go on top of that transient again, make sure you have that bend, uh, audio, uh, that bend tool on, and you just double click on it, and you deleted it, and it went back, the audio went back to where it used to be. So those are bend markers. That's how you quantize audio um, using bend markers in Studio One. If you have any other questions, please call us at Obedia at 615-933-6775. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Today's pro audio hardware and software can give you excellent results if you know how to use it properly. Obedia can help you to get the most out of your pro audio hardware and software. Why spend your time scouring the internet for answers or digging through manuals? With one quick call to an Obedia technician, you'll be connected with someone who can give you the answers that you need in real time via phone and remote desktop. Obedia technicians are trained in all major digital audio applications on Mac, PC, iOS, and Android devices. Obedia member subscriptions are cost effective, give you great member benefits, and Obedia is here seven days a week to help you get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software. No matter what your level of expertise, Obedia can help you to stay focused and productive and get your music back on track. Start taming your technology today with Obedia.